Hey there, Whimsy fans. We wanted to take a moment away from the fun to express how much your support and contributions mean to us. If you're liking what you're hearing from us so far, we'd like to invite you to show us some love on our new Patreon. Starting at just $1 a week, you can help us keep the whimsy coming. That's not just our podcast, but live streams and new projects on the horizon as well. All members get special shout out during our live streams. If you're comfortable giving a little more, please take a look at our gift tier. These gifts are handpicked by the Whimsy crew to bring more curiosity, fun, and whimsy to you as thanks for your support. Every little bit counts, and whether you support us by listening and subscribing to our podcasts, holding court on our lives, or subscribing to our Patreon, thank you for helping us keep the magic alive and the mics on. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com slash chasing the whimsy, or follow the link on our YouTube channel, at Chasing the Whimsy. Thank you again for all the support. Whimsy! Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Chasing the Whimsy. I'm your host, Ben. It is currently after midnight. Uh, I took my time getting home, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Today was a weird day. Got Liam uh, this morning and... A little talkative for like a minute, but he filled me in on some on some stuff. And then yeah, we had a decent conversation. We got Sophie, and then on the way home, buds. So the original plan was record his whimsy whimsy with the Z. And then that didn't happen. So, like, I guess my initial, like, reaction was, like, irritated, I guess. But then, like, uh, so we get back to the house and then uh, he just, like, falls asleep. Uh, I take Sophie uh, to other grandmas so we can record and he just wouldn't get up to save his life. So uh, my first reaction was just like irritated because he wanted like prior to today, he was still good to go. Uh, he was just uh, excited to go and hear the questions because I've been telling him for the last two weeks, like everybody on the onesie Z podcast have like really stepped up this month and they were just killing it. So he was excited to kind of uh, see the questions and do his episode, but today didn't work out. So I think about it on the way home, right? Um, just now, right? Is He's back in school. Homecoming was last or was this weekend. He's got wrestling starting up again soon. I don't think he's burned out. Like he is uh like last year when it ended, when wrestling ended. You know, he mentioned like, yeah, he started to get burnt out. I don't think he's there. But it's like he's exhausted. And the irony of it is I am wildly exhausted like all the time. So I'm no longer irritated or annoyed with it. Like it, I get it. So in theory, we can still record his whimsy with the Z next week. And then we always put it out on that 
last Friday that we normally don't have one. So, um, I don't know, I chatted with them a little bit, you know, kind of uh, the the optics of it, of, you know, because we, because we see the modified Sunday now. And then like the whole day I see him, he's just sleeping. So um, it, it's not him. Like, I'm, like again, the irony is <laughs> he's, he's, he's wrestling what? Like he's got like two day practices like all week and then like competitions on Saturdays. So, uh, and like, what was it? Saturday night, dude, he was in bed by like nine o'clock, uh, like nine o'clock. So yeah, he's exhausted. Like I can't feel that, that bad. Or I mean, I can't be that hard on him because like even my mom, worries and stresses out not stresses out but she worries she thinks you know sometimes i'm doing too much on the podcast stuff like uh like we've done double episodes for uh last week grandma uh like this whole since year the start of year two like we're just i'm just podcasting like a crazy person still so Yeah, I get the I get exhausted. Uh, I just I wouldn't even say I manage it better because like one can argue like like one can make the argument that I'm doing too much, and that's not a good thing. Like I we absolutely could have like not done the Wednesday special episodes. And then just hold them for the next week's Monday. Uh, so, yeah, I give them the pass. So you'll never listen to this. So, uh, for the record, sorry for being annoyed. But interesting day, I guess. So then I, so then I struggled. So that not only because. Uh, you did, uh, so we obviously we didn't car cast, so you're getting this episode. Um, and I struggled with what trying to figure out what today's episode was going to be about, and then I was like, uh, <laughs> for, for a minute, I was like. I'm just gonna do my Emmy review, or because uh, the Emmys are done. They, uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I was like, no, I can't. I can't do. I can't do 45 minutes on Emmys. Uh, when dropping off Sophie, I was like, Kelly, Megan, I'm like, I need help. I need um, to because I keep talking about uh, having the in case of emergency break glass, but I've never gotten past like the title of it. And then Kelly pointed out that like the podcast has been very like biopic with grandma interviews with, uh, with some of the guests. So like, and I'm fine. I'm, I love that we're doing all those extra episodes. Like, I love talking to, to Grandma, uh, you know, for the three and a half, four hours. Um, Aaliyah on Wednesday last week was a fantastic episode. Like, so, like, like I'm not going to, like, shh, not continue doing those. Because that's what Whimsy was, is when Liam's here, you know, it's banter. Me and him back and forth and come up with an idea, a topic, and kind of just see where it goes. We have the sad dad episodes where it's just like, uh, you know, I'm crying about something. And then you got the, you know, just the good old, just old man solo episode. So, uh, 
But with that said, I don't think Nikki listens to the original uh, to CTW proper. Um, but I think what I want to do is let's get Courtney back. Let's bring back some of uh, uh, instead of the the solo episodes or like the interview type episodes. Like if I can get more of those, I'll do them. <clears throat> But I think go back to you know the original format. Bring on a guest, and we just discuss uh, and see what's going on. Uh, I think we I threw out an idea. Maybe we'll get Megan back on soon. We got to figure out when to do that. But um, I got some ideas. Um, maybe we do another writer's room like a pop-up pop-up writer's room and pitch meeting so i can run out some ideas the i got jay sarge coming back um probably uh, let's see maybe through two to three weeks i got you definitely know this week but i'm gonna see if i can push him back to like Two or th- like two weeks or maybe three weeks, um, have that, and then with his, we have some games, get back into some fun. So, yeah, we're still doing it, um, because like, like with Liam, like he he, he wants to just relax because he's exhausted like he should be allowed to take like a week off for whatever reason like if I didn't record tonight or last week with the car cast because like I was just tired I don't think anybody would have like like I don't know what's the the phrase better than I I think that's what it's called. So uh, I think part of me was, is I see the podcast is more than where maybe Liam is right at this moment. So it's about the brand. It's about like, uh, Like, I got 30 years on him. Like, like if I was 13, 14, like, I'd be a total pain in the ass, too. And I probably was. But I, I got 30 years on him. Like, I got a semi-decent work ethic. Uh, it's probably more on, like, the, the addiction side. <laughs> We're in, like, I want to say I'm addicted to podcasting, but there's definitely that level of... Okay, hold on. Let's get a calendar real quick. So we said July was 52 weeks. Um, Okay, hold on. So our our one year would have been like the second or the ninth. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like this, like we're. We're at like a 63 week streak. I can't let that go. Like we have not dropped. We have not missed a Monday episode. I have had maybe one late episode on a Monday where it went up. Oh, okay. We did have a couple of episodes where I released them after the live because I wanted to talk about it first on the live. But I think there's only like maybe two episodes, maybe that I just fell asleep and didn't get them uploaded on time. So, um, like he's like, he's dedicated to the wrestling. I get it, support it, but I can't hold it against him. If he's just like, I'm not as fanatical about podcasting as I am wrestling or as my dad is to podcasting. 
So, yeah, that's where I am. I guess those long drives home, uh, <laughs> I do a lot of thinking. At least it's not bad right now. Like, it used to, uh, I was able to kind of put things in its, in its proper place and not be so hard on him. Uh, but yes, um, I am going to actively try to get back to uh, a slightly older form podcast. Because we do like the episodes of games and having fun. And um, when's, when's the last time we had a good like parquet laugh on a Monday chasing the whimsy proper episode? So, um, Sophia was awesome today. She's so cool. She hung out with uh, other grandma today. Uh, dropped her off, came back. I got her. <laughs> Grandma's like, she hasn't stopped moving or talking in the you know the two hours that she was over there. But uh, dude, the imagination on this kid, she's so fun. So yeah, she had such a good time. Like she passed out hard. Oh. Uh, when we got back to the house. So everybody's just exhausted. And if exhausted, you should probably relax, rest, and recoup. Whereas I am like, what fucking time is it? 12.27. 12.27 on record for 20 more minutes. No, this might be short. I don't know. Uh, edit upload everything and then I still got to put the mind pockets together for noon so I will be up for two more hours I don't know what else is going on Oh, I'm trying to think. Hold on. I'm trying not to pause so much. Um, and I was trying to stop the ums. Like, for the most part, uh, if you guys go back and count them, like, I think there's only three of them so far into this episode. The... All right. So, I'm working on some new tokens, which is interesting. Nikki saw them. Kelly, Lansom, uh, we got. I was able to make the the tokens like the, the the mascots look like two previous guests, and they look pretty good. So what's interesting is, we're I'm now looking into customizing guests that have been on the show. Courtney would be a cool one. Megan. Nikki. Other grandma. So we will uh, release those soonish. What else? In the, wait, uh, I reached out to somebody on the neighbor app to help draw me some new comics. So. I haven't talked to Sarah in a little bit. I think she's got a new position at work, so she's busy. So I'm trying not to bother her too much. But this new guy seemed interested. And uh, I guess his kid also draws. So I'm thinking, like, maybe I can get, like, two... Like if each one of them wanted to, or if only one of them wanted to do it, I'd take you know I'll take it, but we'll see. I'm delivered. Let's see, Patreon gifts are being delivered. Hey, Patreon, uh, if you guys are listening and you are not currently signed up for the Patreon, uh, it just helps out keeping things going. Let me be creative. 
with merch. Uh, let's see what else. The VCR uh, episode that we did on Nooners two weeks ago. Uh, it helps put me, this helps a little bit so we can uh, branch out and try some newer, different things. So any little support helps. Make sure you hit the likes and the follows on any of the platforms. So, like, yeah, like I wasn't even that irritated. Like I was irritated, but like I didn't let it ruin the day. Like I wasn't like super shitty to anybody. So, but we'll see what he wants to do next week. We'll see. Um, Oh, what else is going on tomorrow or today after the live stream uh, this afternoon? I will be recording uh, Pinky Unplugged. So uh, this coming Friday will be Pinky's episode. Um, In it, she mentions um, wanting to find a different outlet than the whimsy with the Z to kind of um, dive into more other type of issues that teens have, I guess. Um, so you will have that episode. Her whimsy with the Z will be on Friday. And then I might hold that interview to next Monday. So <laughs> On paper, okay, so on paper, I'm going to record with Pinky and then hold that episode for the following Monday. So you'll hear her Whimsy Z Friday, and then on Monday you hear her Pinky Unplugged. It would still keep the the streak going of consistent episodes every week. But there's, I'm not going to lie to you, a little part of me thinks that there would be a Sunday, Monday that I did not record. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, here's here's, here's what we're going to do. Pinky Unplugged is the, like, part two of her whimsy with the Z for September. So here's here's the ask, okay? I will hold that episode until the following Monday, and that would be the CTW Proper's episode for the week. I will not record anything on Sunday or Monday and then have, like, a bonus episode on Wednesday. So um, if we're worried about old man here and – He's doing too much. What I would do then is after the live stream Monday or sometimes Sunday night, I will record one 30 minute episode uh, and, and then save it. So part of the I've been talking about it. And again, I only came up with an, I only had the name, so I don't know any of the episodes yet. But email me, whimsy at chasingwhimsy.com. Text me if you have my number. Put it on any of the comments on any of the platforms, Spotify, Apple, YouTube. Give me a random thought or idea or topic, and I will record like a 30-minute-ish episode, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. And then I will save that as my in case of emergency break glass series. So every once in a while, uh, we've got some bonus or extra content that sometimes gets cut out of episodes. Um, like last week's car cast, I cut 17 minutes off that thing. I can like take that with a couple of other things that I cut out, put it together. Boom. That's in the case of emergency. Um, but 
give me an idea for uh, it was kind of like the if I was stranded somewhere and I could only watch five movies for the rest of my life, which would they be? So like those type of scenarios, if it's a worst case scenario or a, what would you bring? Send me some ideas. Let's start building the, uh, what's the acronym for that? Hold on. Let's see. Is acronym the right word? Okay. I got to find a notepad here. In case of emergency break glass. Lug. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Do you guys put the O uh, of of? So in, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I wrong letter. In, in, oh, in case is one word. In case, oh my God, sorry. Of, so would it be O, E, Loberg? Hey, that's not that bad. There's no R. I don't know, whatever it is, but yeah, I think what I might do just to have some fun. And so that way I can feed my, uh, my, I guess you would have to call it an addiction, but I can record like a random uh, 30 minute. I'll keep them hidden. And then if there was ever a situation in which we could not drop an episode on a Monday, I would break glass and then put that episode out. I think it would be cool to have like five or six of them banked. The, like there's technically two, like if, like if I fell and hospitalized and I couldn't record or couldn't upload anything, right? I technically have two episodes that are over. Oh man, can I check it without breaking this? Uh, all right, I got the computer going. Let me see. Bonus episodes. 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 Bonus, bonus, bonus. Okay, so there is... Oh, I don't even know where I put them. Yellowstone, Ming Chen. I got a JJ Rabbit hole. I could technically edit uh, for an episode. But yeah, there's two episodes that Liam and I did, our top 10 lists for TV, movies, and video games. And we recorded two of those three. I like the idea of the In Case of Emergency Break Glass episodes, because if I hold on to them for like six months or longer that whenever I do drop them, there's like little to no context to like any of it. Cause it's just going to, it's just going to start with an episode and it would just be me talking. So yeah, give me some ideas, some suggestions for a random episode that I could record, lock it away in the vault and then only bring it out in case of emergency. So I like the idea of having, and then I can keep I can keep, keep everybody uh, on track of it. So eventually, like you guys, are like oh my god, he's got seventeen. And then when I drop one, I'll tell you what number it was. So uh, that would be fun, though. So yes, I will hold Pinky unplugged for an entire week, which means I would not re- well. I guess it's not as bad anymore because I had you have the two live streams. But anyway, yeah, send me some ideas because I would like I I like have I like I would love knowing that I have five or six half hour ish long episodes never listened to, and that I just randomly drop one one day when I decide um, I'm out of town or I'm busy or computer problems so um yeah i just want to start collecting a couple of rando stories or recordings 
think that's all we got for like newsies type stuff. All right. Uh, we're at 30 minutes. So to be fair, um, that's all I needed for the episode. But I did mention that tonight was the Emmys uh, 76th. So these ones are going to incorporate all of the uh, TV shows from 2023. And no, I lied. Season two. Nope. It would have been, uh, forget the dates of it, but most of, uh, most of the stuff would have, uh, for, Oh no, that doesn't make any sense. What are you doing, Ben? The Emmys really screwed me up because Shogun came out on the 27th of February. So that one was nominated for this year. But Bear was not, season three of Bear was not what we were nominated for. It was been season two. So that the whole thing is kind of just wigging me out, freaking me out. Okay. So. I'm not going to read off a bunch of names. I'm just going to give you guys... Uh, all right, we're at 30 minutes, 31 minutes right now. I'm going to see if I can do like a, a small wrap-up in like maybe five minutes. So the predictions that I, you guys saw on Saturday were most of the categories, like the, the main ones. So, like, if you went to Variety and you wanted a printable Emmy ballot, there's, I think, 27 categories. Um, I pointed out the fences and saying I was going to uh, I was gonna hit, like, 25, 26. Uh, I didn't do the official count, but I think I'm close to, like, 19 right now. The... I went against popular vote and took uh, who was it? Actor in an anthology. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm thinking. See, this is why we don't do this is why we don't do award shows, guys. Um, so, okay, the ones that I know for a fact that I did not get I, I win against popular vote with Jodie Foster. She wins it. Anthology series. Uh, was it Baby Reindeer? Uh, won it. There was uh, Actress. I lost supporting actress in a comedy. And who did it go to? Shit, what was her name? I don't even know. So, um, so I know like those are like three categories I know that I missed. So yeah, I think I'm, I, like I'm still in, like 19 per like 19 out of 27. What's the math on that? What's my percentage? Is that probably worse than I think it is? Okay, we're just gonna call it 20. We're gonna give, we're gonna give Ben 20. <laughs> we're just gonna make it up here. Uh, divided by 27. Oh, it's like 74%. Like, that's lame. Oh, man, maybe I will go in and do the math and see if I could have got, if I was up to maybe 80%. No. Okay, here's why I, here's why I lost. Here's why I'm at 74%, okay, is uh, Shogun wins everything. Uh, it has the record right now for most Emmy wins in a in a single year it took like 14 from the creative arts last week it took four more this uh tonight so it dominated comedy what's his face bear dominated a bunch there too but the reason why i did would score overall would be because hacks wins best 
comedy series for season three, which is fucking fantastic. I absolutely loved Hacks season three. I'm pretty sure I, I said that multiple times on the live streams. It was interesting. Like, I'm glad that they won it. And why wouldn't, if I like it so much, why didn't I vote for it? Because Bear season two was still a pretty solid season of television. So, uh, Eugene and uh, his son, they hosted the Emmys. There was a couple of like really funny bits, but it was not real showy like we've seen in the past. Definitely think it was better than the the one we had in January with fucking uh, Kimmel. So it was fun. It looked like a pretty decent show. Um, like they had some of the, the bits. Overall, like, some pretty decent good winning winners out there. Um, so if you, now that everything's over and you need to catch up on any of the stuff, uh, that one Shogun, definitely watch bear and hacks. You can do Jodie Foster with, um, true detective, uh, night country. But definitely make sure you're caught up on those four shows because they were really, really good shows. And then I will end the episode with a very quick hot take. Maybe it's not a hot take. It's a, dis- uh, a discussion topic, right? So here's what, here's what you guys are going to do, right? You're going to listen to this, right? Then for lunch while you're hanging around the water cooler or you're outside smoking, right? Or any lull in the, in the end meetings, whatever you're doing tomorrow. And someone asks, what did you watch the Emmys? If you need a nice little discussion, it would be, Why is The Bear considered a comedy? Anybody who's watched the three seasons could attempt to make the argument that it's not a comedy. Kelly, here, this is kind of for you because we realized uh, Kelly last week likes to be a little bit of a know it all. So she likes to be semi. Like I want to say she's not like a full verse. Like I don't think she's going to be like going deep dive like I would on uh, the inner workings of the Emmy nominations. But what is interesting is the reason why the bear is considered a comedy is because producers get to pick whatever category they want, whatever they think that we fit in, they get to pick. Same thing with actors. Actors get to um, submit themselves. Uh, in a category of supporting or lead actor. So it's interesting that um, some actors see themselves as more of like a support role or, um, you know, not the main character, the one that they build it around. Uh, So they'll find themselves, you know, voting into the supporting uh, actor, actress, position right so what's interesting is back in 2015 there was another very popular show that in season one was labeled as a comedy and then in season two the emmy people enforced a rule change in which orange is the new black was then deemed as a drama that particular rule was Comedies are 30 minutes, hour longs are dramas. So because it's all governed by like their peers, the Emmys have obviously certain rules, but they will not enforce what category you think you should be in 
or if you think you should be in a lead or a guest uh, position. So, again, the idea is that you can like quiz people as they're talking about the the Emmys. Hey, what was the first um, the first show to be reclassified after its first? You know, it's different from season one to season two. And then why? Um, Thirty minutes are comedies, hour longs are. Uh, dramas. Now there's a an appeal process. Uh, we see that a little bit in Glee. Uh, Glee was an hour long show, but they were able to appeal and get them back into that comedy uh, category versus the drama category. It will be interesting though, because if you watch The Bear, some of the episodes are like they're fluctuating really hard on the time there's some that like again for it to be a comedy it needs to be 30 minutes but what we're starting to see right now in streaming is it's completely arbitrary like shit i just lost the the, the, lost the thought it's like one o'clock hits man and i can't remember shit but oh okay so the idea is the bear like some of those episodes are running like 47 ish minutes so it might get to a point where the bear gets reclassified now what would be super interesting is if the bear was reclassified as a drama it would have gone against shogun and Shogun dominated everything. So the 11 awards that the bear won would have been washed if they ever reclassify or update the ruling on 30 versus an hour. Because uh, television doesn't record, and that's where I was going. Streaming doesn't adhere to 30 minutes anymore. And like they, they still... So it's going to be interesting. I'm waiting for the Academy to be like, uh, not even the Academy, but the the Emmys to indicate like the the average breakdown per episode. If it's over X, you're now a, dra- a drama. And so, um, man, that got a little bit rambly, and that was definitely eleven minutes on Emmys. But I did give you guys a nice. Uh, water cooler discussion, a little trivia. So, uh, all right, I need to get out of there before I start forgetting more shit, and this gets even longer and worse. Um, overall, pretty decent day. I'm happy with the Emmy results, and you know we're gonna. Yeah, you know, see what we can do to get Liam back. Cause I know that you guys miss him. I miss him. I guess that was Kelly's nice way of saying that the episodes are better with Liam. Oh, Ben, the podcasting is a little bit more like interviewee type, meaning we prefer the episodes when Liam's here. Whimsy. 